we have been looking at concrete utility poles now and researching it and developing it uh, over six years now. So we've, we've been around, you know, doing, doing our homework, but we've been uh, incorporated now just over two years. So I would say over the last four years, we have been working along with, uh, with, with GPL. They've been using our pools for, for special pilot projects. Um, we've recently done um, work with the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport. We've, we've done um, uh, the Racket Center, where, where they're doing a massive um, reconstruction of that facility. So we've, we've used our concrete poles for that, that venture. And um, we actually just uh, provided um, a number of concrete poles for street lighting for the Ministry of Public Works. So it's catching on, you know, it's, the initiative is, um, is, is, is definitely catching on. And I think the government now is starting to see the need for that, that change with all the infrastructural development that we have, um, we have ongoing. Rahman took us to Happy Acres on the east coast of Demerara, where some of the poles are located, to give a detailed comparison between his product and the conventional wooden poles. Um, one of the advantages of, of going concrete over wallable is obviously the durability which we spoke about, but it's also direct burial, just like the wallaba. So no need to retool. You, you bury it in the, in the ground just like a wallaba post. If there is a soppy soil condition, obviously there might be some sort of casting might, might have to be done. Um, in terms of aesthetics, it's, it's a lot more you know, aesthetically pleasing than the wallaba because of the design of the post and the weight being down at the bottom of the pole. Um, there's, sometimes there's no even need to, to bury as deep as a wallaby, you know. Um, in terms of climbing, we bring the climbing shoes, a special, a special adapter to put onto your shoe to, to climb the post. Um, maintenance. They, I mean, once you put up a concrete post, there's no coming back to maintain it. As, as with a, a wallaby, you might get a five to seven year lifespan. So there's, there's a lot more, um, you know, you'll have to change the pole more often. Once you put up a concrete post, there, there should be no coming back to, to, to change the post. Everything is there, the concrete arms are also there, so everything is in concrete. So no need to, you know, it's a, it's a great labor saving. The main advantages, I would say, of, of concrete poles are, is the longevity. Um, it could be 50 plus years. Uh, you know, while putting up a concrete post as compared to a wall of a post which might give you maybe maximum I would say 10. Um, depends on where the pole is located. Now, obviously if it's in the in an interior location such as I would say on the highway. The highway is very susceptible to, to termites, uh, forest fires. You see a lot of bushfires in those areas. So um, the concrete pole would be an advantage to, to re, you know, replacing poles such in a, as an area like that. In terms of, of, of galvanized poles, I mean, we've seen some galvanized poles being put down in Guyana for um, street lighting and so on. But because of our location um, to the coast and the saltier content, uh, these, these poles are very susceptible to, to, to rust. Well, it's concrete, so obviously it will be more expensive than a wallaby. Um, it all depends on uh, Obviously, the quantity that, that, that we would be supplying, you know, we, we could bring down that, that cost significantly. Um, but because the, of the strength of concrete poles, for instance, in the, in the for instance here, GPL or the, you know, the, power, the power industry, um, because of the strength of the poles, you don't need to put down as much poles, or the poles can be further apart, okay, because of the strength. So in the long term, you use less poles on a stretch than you would use on a wallaby because, um, because of the strength of the concrete. You know, just, just as an example. Um, these poles are very versatile. They are, they are all pre-drilled on all four sides of the post. So you can bolt on cross arms on either side. You can have electricity, telephone, internet, uh, even street lighting on one post. Um, so that, that makes it very, very versatile, you know. We were in the creeping stage, we're in the walking stage now. Um, we, we are in a f small facility right now, but plans to move to uh, a much bigger facility soon. Um, once we do that, we can put down our batching plant that we already, you know, have, have plans to do and put down more molds, which we already have acquired, just waiting to be, um, to be put down. Once we can do that, we can manufacture, um, mass produce even more than we can do now, and also stock, also stock the various lengths of poles that we can do. 
Guycrete Inc. has planted poles in each of the three counties, totaling approximately 150 poles to date. Rahman said they also offer customized poles for housing construction and for farmers, in addition to solid concrete prefabricated posts and panels that are ideal for fencing. Guy Creek Inc. is located at Lot 3 Sandy Bab Street, Kitty, Georgetown, and can be contacted on telephone numbers 226 5225 and 600 1767. For the newsroom, Akim Green.